Please read important safety information before watching this video. LC MS system performance is highly affected by the condition of the sample introduction region. Using the integrated switching valve as a diverter valve can prevent instrument contamination. By only allowing LC flow to be delivered into the mass spectrometer when the analytes are looting. The integrated switching valve is a six port valve that can be configured as shown here to provide LC flow to the mass spectrometer or deliver the same LC flow to waste. Below the diverter valve on the instrument front panel is the manual position switch as well as LED indicators for current position. This switching process is also programmable using the data acquisition software. To manually switch the valve position, press the switching button. In this example, with an LC running, the valve position is A. This allows the LC flow to be delivered to the mass spec. After the valve position changes to B, the LC flow goes to waste. In the data acquisition software, we have an active hardware profile which includes the integrated switching valve. To use the switching valve in an LC method, open an existing LC MS method or, from acquire mode, select the build method option. When opening a new method, all available devices are used. If you do not want to use a device, right click on the device and deselect the use option. With the switching valve selected, the right pane shows the options for configuring the valve. Based on the configuration we defined earlier, the starting position of the valve should be on position B. From the known chromatographic output of a given three minute sample run, we know that the analytes of interest elute from the column between one and two minutes into the total run. Set the first switch condition to a time of one minute and set the position to A, then on the next line set the time to two minutes and set the position back to B. This means that only the period from one minute to two minutes of the run will be injected into the instrument. All the other conditioning and equilibration time will be run to waste. The resulting data files will look like this. The upper pane demonstrates what the chromatographic run looks like without the use of the diverter valve. The lower pane demonstrates the difference when you use a diverter valve. Notice the difference in the background signal between the top and bottom panes. Any background signal is solvent entering the interface region and any mobile phase contamination enters with it.